In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. O God, enfold me. O God, surround me. O God, be my speaking and my very thinking. O God, be my life. O God, be on my lips. O God, be in my soul and in my very heart. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 5 through to 25. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, waiting for walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will hear, will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John, and you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with his, the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will also go before him in the spirit of the, and the power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready the people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, was sent to speak to you and to bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until, this, the, until the day these things take place, because you do not believe my words which will be fulfilled in their own time. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he lingered for so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned to them and remained speechless. So it was. As soon as the days of his service were completed, that he departed to his own house. Now, after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she hid herself for five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked on me 
to take away my reproach among people. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love, with the understanding of your word and your teachings, that we will not doubt your word. In today's Gospel reading today, we read about John's birth announcement to his father Zacharias. Zacharias was a priest in the temple, and it fell upon him in his turn to burn incense, to pray, burning of incense. Both of them, of course, as he and his wife, Elizabeth, were well on in years. She was barren. They had no children. And of course, their prayers were heard. God sent his angel Gabriel, who announced to Zacharias that they will have a son not just a normal son, very special, very special one. He was prepared, is going to prepare the way for Jesus, for the Lord. But when the Gabriel said this to Zacharias, he couldn't work out why. Why then? But also, how possible is this going to be? For both of them, Elizabeth and Zacharias, were well on in years for childbearing. This is familiar, if you remember the story of Abraham and Sarah. They too were well on in years, and they were childless. When the angels came to them, they told them that they were going to have a child. Sarah, even to a point, laughed at this idea. How can this be? For I am well on in years. In this preparation time to celebrate the birth of Christ, are we ready? Are we? Like Zacharias, do you doubt God? All things are possible for him. Are you ready? Do you believe that the Son of God is coming again? We're about to celebrate his birthday from the first time. But he's coming back, he told us. Do you believe? Do you believe this? Or as the world turns you so much around, that you are lost? Jesus is coming soon. We've only just got over a week to go. And he will be here. Yes. We'll be here to prepare and celebrate the birth of Christ, his birthday. So as Zacharias, because of his doubting, he became mute. Until all this was fulfilled, and Elizabeth gave birth to John. Yes. It is important for you to believe. During this preparation time, I urge you all to pray. To read the scriptures, to get to know God through Jesus Christ. To know Jesus is to know God the Father. For they are one and the same. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, I say again. 
And so, as we approach Christmas, have faith in God. Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ above me, Christ beneath me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left. Christ around me, Christ within me, Christ to guide me, Christ to guard me, Christ to forgive and heal me, Christ to love me. Glory to God for all things, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen, amen, amen.